snack, an Essie, plus Sprinkles the Bear. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Amy Jo for Nat and Essie, and today we are making scented candles. Okay, so let's take a look. Wow, there are so many tins. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tins. So we can make eight different candles. And then we have two bags of natural soy wax. We have two little, um, they're called diamond color chips and these will dye the color, dye the soy if we wanna make like a purple or a green candle. We have two different scents. We have lavender and green tea scent. Wicks. The wick centering device. So this will, this will hold the wick steady. This is what we'll use to melt the wax and I'm not really sure what this is. Okay, the canvas thing, I took a look. It's just a bag to store everything, so that mystery is solved. But let's take a look at these. Look at these tins all have the cutest little labels. So, do what you love, dream big, be bright, choose to shine, rise and sparkle, enjoy the little things, good vibes only. These are so cute. Okay, I've looked over the instructions and step number one is to select the tins that you're going to use and then wipe them out with a paper towel, which I've done. I selected enjoy the little things, dream big, and do what you love. Each one of those is a message that I think is important. So we're gonna start with these. Okay, so here's something interesting. Step number two is to anchor the wicks in the containers and you do that by placing a wick glue sticker in the center of the candle tin. I do not have a wick glue sticker and <laughs> nor does a wick glue sticker come with the kit. I've read this like several times. There's no mention of anything like that. So I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna use some glue or something that I have here. So <laughs> we're off to an interesting start. Okay, so I use some glue and I have all of the wicks in. They are centered, they're, they don't look like it because they're kind of tipping, but they're in there. So let me show you what it, what it looks like. So this is what the wick looks like and I just put a little dot of glue, put it in the center of the tin and now we'll wait for it to dry, wait for them to dry and then we'll move on to our next step. All right, so while our wicks are drying, I'm going to add the chips of the soy wax to our melting pot. This is our little melting pot right here. And then we'll be going down to melt the wax, add the fragrance, add the colors, and then, ah, pour that melted wax into our candle tins. Okay, now we just need to get our water boiling so we can melt the wax. Okay, I've got the tins ready next to the stove and our wax dye and the fragrances. Okay, I'm just gonna scrape up some of the wax that I spilled and put it back into the pot.
Okay, our wax is in our tins, and now we just wait for them to dry. Okay, all done. Oh, I have so much wax on this tray. <laughs> I'll just scrape that off. These are the ones that I added the purple to and they're very, very light. They smell really good. So I did the lavender. It's a really nice scent. So this is the one that I did not add color to and I have several tins left. Five, I believe, and some wax, and another scent, and some green dye. So maybe I'll do that soon. Um, okay, let's see. So the kit only came with two of the little wax supports, so I just used this pencil, clip this off. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, and one last thing. If we're playing the fab or fail game, then I would say that this little kit is fab. Okay.